Hey guys, it's Tasha Lanise and I am back with another video. This video is going to be a book shopping vlog. So we're headed to Barnes and Nobles to pick out a book. There's one particular book that I'm looking for and that is Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. So hopefully we find it because it is February and I did say I was going to go book shopping once a month. So yeah, I went in January, did I? I hope I did. But anyway, so let's go ahead, get right into it, and we're going to go book shopping. So let's see what we can find, see if we can find this book, see if we can find other books, and yeah. got finally the popular Taylor Jenkins Reid Daisy Jones and the Six. Not a fan of real people covers, but this is this is it. This is what we're rocking with. This is a very high 
high highly recommended book and it was buy one get one 50 percent off at barnes and nobles select things so daisy is a girl coming of age in la in the late 60s sneaking into clubs on the sunset strip sleeping with rock stars and dreaming of singing at the whiskey a go-go her voice is getting noticed and she has the kind of heedless beauty that makes people do crazy things also getting noticed is the six a band led by the brooding billy dunn on the eve of their first tour his girlfriend camellia finds out she's pregnant and with the pressure of impending fatherhood and fame billy goes a little wild on the road Woo. daisy and billy cross paths when a producer realizes that the key to supercharged success is to put the two together what happens next will become the stuff of legend the making of that legend is chronicled in this riveting ooh, of the 70s and daisy jones in the six taylor jenkins re brilliantly captures an unforgettable place and time and an utterly distinctive voice <sighs> how are you say it's so wrong that i don't even know what the word was <laughs> i gotta stop getting distracted because wait fishes and unfairly cute i've been seeing this a lot lately but i wanted to get more black authors but it was kind of hard to find but um, this is by Talia Herbert Hibbert. Um, she's the New York Times best-selling author of Get a Life, Chloe Brown. I was supposed to read that. Look at it. Look at the aesthetic. Okay. This was also 50% off. <sighs> Bradley Graham is pretty much perfect. Mm. He's a star football player, manages his OCD well enough, and comes out on top in all of his classes, except the ones he shares with Celine Bangoro. They used to be best friends until Brad decided he was too cool for a conspiracy theory obsessed Celine and literally abandoned her for the popular kids table. At least that's how Celine sees it. These days, Brad hates her guts and the feeling is mutual. So when Celine signs up for a two part survival course in the woods, she definitely doesn't expect to find Brad right beside her. Forced to work together for the chance to win the grand prize, Celine and Bradley must trudge through not just mud and dirt, but their messy past. As this adventure brings them closer, they start to remember all the good parts of their history. But has too much time passed or just enough to spark a whole new kind of relationship? I'm not sure if this is YA, but uh, obviously. But he could be in college. We don't know. I'm assuming it's YA. And then my sister got a book. And since it's in this bag, I'm just going to go ahead. and um, I've read some of it before. Checked it off from the library. And it is Before the Coffee Gets Cold. Break it down for you. I don't even got to read the back. It's about um, this coffee shop where you could travel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so different from what you are saying. The description is so different from what you are saying. It's not. Let me get there, bro. It's about this coffee shop that has this chair that if you sit in it, you could travel back into time. And I don't want to say too much because I have read it and I don't remember what the synopsis says and what I read, but that's the gist. It's some rules and regulations to sitting in that chair and going back in time, but it was pretty good. And then I actually found out it was like three short stories. So question and question, if it's three short stories, are they considered could I consider that three different they're, books I read? Yeah, because they're on. This is a novel, so the other one is a novel. These are just compact up, comprised of short stories. But I could I consider the short stories as like this is book number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we sure? That yeah, feels like because this is a novel. It says right here it's a novel. It's not even a novella. Mm, okay. Well. We're about to go to Walmart to get some snacks. It's supposed to be a snowstorm at seven and we're pushing down on the time. I hope it really don't though. Because... Wait, hold on, because why are we, <laughs> not to interrupt, but why are we going to Walmart? It's a snowstorm and we just going to get snacks. Cause we got food. Okay. Okay guys, that was my book shopping vlog. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I post on Sundays and Wednesdays. Hit the notification bell, subscribe. Tell me if you checked out any of these books. Let me know if you plan on checking out any of these books and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.